<laughs> Lily Eskelson. And you knew how to say that, so good for you. Did I? You're not sure about roots, but you got Eskelson. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> so glad to have you with us. It's so um, good to be here. You've been on our program before. I right? have, yeah. and I love it. And uh, the vice president of the National Education Association and, and what I didn't realize, an elementary teacher from Utah. Oh, yeah. yeah so, so you, you can't scare me. You've been, I was yeah. going to say, you've been there, you've done the hard <laughs> I've work. I've done rainy day recess with sixth graders in Utah with a wow. class of 39 kids. So, no, you can't wow. scare me. Okay, yeah, absolutely. NEA.org, by the way, the yes, website. Yes, um, the, uh, the education and school. And liliesblackboard.org for my blog. Oh, how cool. I am a blogger. L-I-L-L-Y-S? No, L-I-L-Y-S, okay. Blackboard. And there's no apostrophe, which kills me as a teacher. Yeah, you can't do this. But liliesblackboard.org. Yeah, yeah. The, uh, uh, English majors, you know, it's <laughs> like... Uh, um, so, the, the, there is this right-wing war on education. Is there? We saw Tim Pawlenty, or not Tim Pawlenty, we saw Scott... Uh, Scott Walker yesterday just dump a million, a billion dollars mm -hmm. out of the education budget mm -hmm. in in Wisconsin last week in in um, uh, New Jersey. Chris Christie took right. 820 million dollars out of the out of the public schools mm -hmm. and handed 825 million dollars to his former employer, Edison Schools, that he used to be a lobbyist for, and said here to a for-profit. For I mean, how? A, how do we wake up Americans to how destructive this is? B, how do you fight back the meme that, hey, corporations can do things better? Right. And C, how do we, you know, what's the Well, what's first the of all, I think people ought to look at their 401k plans uh, mm -hmm. and see what happens when uh, you let the financial uh, industry um, unregulated take care of that. And every time someone says, and we need to run our schools the way Wall Street runs, um, you know, we should just get a little chill down our, our spines. Right. Um, the um, neoliberal, if we can call it that, uh, reforms, um, I, I, it just, they took such a pretty word, reform, and it basically means let's charterize it, voucherize it, everybody has to make their number and that number is a test score. Uh, let's make it easy to be a teacher, you know, because anybody can teach. And by the way, we're going to probably hire a whole bunch of really bad ones if we do that. So let's make it real easy to fire them, it's too. Just like, and know, that's it. Let's, that's let's make it, it easy to be a brain surgeon. You know, and, you know I, I, and, you know, let's make it really easy to be a dentist and then put them with <laughs> poor people who can't afford dentists. That will really solve that problem. Well, that's it's their logic. just insane. It's outrageous. Yeah. And um, and people here, uh, progressives who are dealing with health care issues, environmental issues, justice issues, uh, social issues, um, they're all coming to the education caucuses and the education events. Why? Because children are 100% of our future. Mm. The, it, there, there is nothing in this country that doesn't touch the life of a child. Uh, I get to be righteously unreasonable for public education because I, I think what, what it means to teach and what it means to learn is being corrupted today. I think, I think when you say, and we're going to judge you as a teacher on, oh, I don't know, some commercial standardized tests that someone who has no idea what you taught your kids uh, is going to. But they're uh, put making a lot of, of money on those tests. They make a lot of money. No and Child Left is, Behind yes. turned a four hundred million oh, dollar testing God. industry into a two and a half billion dollar testing industry. I'm sure that's just a coincidence. <laughs> and so when people honestly believe, you know, so there's the straw man, there's there's a politician. And by the way, I will tell you, there are as many Democrats as Republicans who are, uh, this is a truly bipartisan, which now makes me question whether that's a good thing, bipartisan. Yeah. Um, I want someone to be on the right side. I don't care about bipartisanship. I care about if you're right. And there's too many people that are just out there saying, well, we need to know if, you know, if schools are succeeding. And we're going, yes, yes, yes. So here's the test. No, no, no. You know, these dots do not connect. I want my kids, and I'm a radical, to think. Yes. I want them to be able to I want them to be able to read the newspaper, yes, decode the words, where does the period go? But then I want you to be able to tell me, do you think this reporter has a bias? Mm -hmm. Is this somebody trying to sell you You're something? You're talking about critical thinking skills. Critical thinking skills. We can't skills. have that. Can you we, give me evidence for your opinion, or if, did you just think it was if cool? If we have critical thinking skills, then we won't pay attention to oh, TV ads for politicians, for example. Exactly. 30 seconds. We won't pay yeah. attention to a lot of things. And so there is this horrible, horrible conspiracy theory part of me that thinks, you know, you dumb down everything. Did you see the, 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 the study that? That just came out on history. Seventeen percent of American kids could tell you why Abraham Lincoln was a significant president. 
17 percent of, of well, age. And, can, and the reason why is because no child left words. behind focuses on math and science sarah palin yeah <laughs> if we're going to talk history uh can we just say uh, let's see yeah. the, the the they were yelling the Brit, you know the, yes. we were warning well, the british <laughs> here's here's the bad news lily if you go to wikipedia right now yeah. it now conforms history on wikipedia today conforms with sarah palin's version of it Oh, no. I am not making this up. So somebody is hundreds altering. of somebody's. Oh, hundreds of somebody's. Good Lord. And and they found enough obscure little histories here and there of one little town where somebody mm. actually did ring a bell, or some other little town where somebody did fire a musket, that they have rewritten the history. The history. It's done. Wow. It's done. You this know, if I'd like only the, known it was that easy. This is like the Reagan. Uh, you know, they they put four hundred million dollars into the Ronald Reagan uh, restoration. Program, not restoration program, but uh, and their goal was to have a building named after him in every county in America, and they they succeeded in that this year. Finally, this is a 30-year-long project, wow. 400 million dollars, 30 years, so that every kid will think Ronald Reagan must have been one of the greatest presidents in America because wherever I go, there's buildings named after him. These guys, they're they're dead set on rewriting history, and it's the, the teachers are the last thing that are standing and between us and that insanity. Well, and and here's the sad reality. I mean, I taught for 20 years elementary kids in the great state of Utah, where the state motto is stack them deep, teach them cheap. We put it on our money. <laughs> and, um, it, and, and, and so, I mean, like I said, it's a tough gig being a yeah. teacher anywhere. Being a teacher in Utah is really tough. It has never been easier to be a teacher in Utah than it was in Wisconsin. Yeah. I mean, now, Wisc and think about what happened overnight. Oh, they can't even, they we, can't even bargain. We, you, have, you have the billionaire brothers yeah. who bought the House, the Senate, and the governor's office. And the first thing they did was they took after the teachers' union. There you go. And Lily, you we're have out to of ask time. yourself why. Uh, NEA.org and Lily's... And Lily'sBlackboard.org.